Intel's Core i9 moniker seems it'll be making its way to mobile CPUs. And how many cores could it have? Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Intel finally upped their mobile Ultrabook CPUs to four cores in their latest 8th gen mobile product stack. While they're still based on Kaby Lake instead of the newest Coffee Lake architecture found in their 8th gen desktop CPUs, it still provides some much needed boost in performance. And one thing I do want to clear up, because I believe I misquoted it before, this isn't the first time Intel has had 4 core mobile CPUs, it's just the first time they come in the U variant low power form. Intel has had them in their H mobile CPUs prior to the 8th gen, they're just a much higher TDP than the U variants. Either way, a few months ago there was a benchmark for a 6 core 12 thread mobile CPU on Geekbench. It's tough to say for sure what to make of it, especially when it comes to random benchmarks popping up, but today it appears we have our answer. In Ada64's latest beta release, they added support for quite a few new CPUs, the most interesting of which is an i9-8950HK. For those who may not know, the H is the designation for Intel's high performance mobile chips. And you can see the i9-8950HK is definitely a Coffee Lake CPU, which makes sense, given the 6-core mobile chip from Geekbench. So yes, you heard that right. There's a chance that this bad boy is a 6-core mobile CPU. Actually, I'd say it's a pretty high chance, especially since it's an i9 and we're talking Coffee Lake. This also tells us one more thing. The i9 moniker is making its way to mobile, and given the K, it will be overclockable. Not only that, but according to Anantec, they've got word that two other mobile chips will come equipped with 6 cores and 12 threads, the i7-8850H and the i7-8750H. I'm not sure where they're getting core count from, but it's an interesting take to say the least. Now with all of this said, remember that these chips are far more power hungry than the U series of processors. They typically stay around 45 watts, which is still half that of the desktop variants, but they don't come close to the 15 watts of the low power U variant CPUs. Either way you look at it though, if these are the 6 core chips seen in Geekbench, mobile CPUs are certainly making their way up in performance, and this will make gaming and workstation laptops far more compelling. And with the added cores across the board, it'll be much harder for game developers to only support 4 cores. When it comes to release, we're still mostly left in the dark. Sure, these names were given by Intel, but the Ada64 beta also has some of Intel's 9th generation CPUs listed, so it definitely doesn't mean they're coming tomorrow. Here's to hoping it won't take too long though. So while that does it for today, what do you think about Intel's possible future in 6 core laptop CPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the GamerMail Discord server where we talk all things hardware and gaming. That's in the description. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.